Oh god. Oh gosh, it's going. What? Is there any? Huh? Uh, can we get another boat? Uh, to help? Uh. Welcome to the Chew On This Saltwater Fishing Show. Fishing television with intensity. All right, so you guys just saw the previews. That's right, my, bank, my boat sank on the lift of all places. I was sitting there, I wasn't even on the water. I looked out, you know, storms started coming through. We always watch our things, make sure nothing bad's happening. Everything looked good. The meeting was over, I looked back out, and the boat was floating. Like, how in the world is the boat floating? And you know, when you have your boat on the lift, you always take the plug out, because you don't want to fill up the water. So the plug's out, I saw it, and I'm like, oh no ran out there I had like two minutes to save it so I went in there to get the plug back in and the lift started lifting up in the front and the back had longer cables so the front lifted up the storms coming over the back and it sunk my boat right here terrible 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 but you know what even though bad things happen hey, you got to overcome them and I think the boat turned out pretty good I mean this is what it looks like afterwards and uh, we got some great sea deck on here we changed it all up so if you see the sunken boat with all the white and everything, we got a lot of color in this new one. New motor, it's all re-rigged. Great to go now, but that was a tough day. So, oh no, my boat sank, but we overcame it. And hey, sometimes things, bad things happen. Who can I call? I called John. That's the only person I can call. Oh shit. The lift won't do anything? It's only lower and raising the front. Oh shit. not chew on this style.
Are you going up or down? It's getting worse. What? Are you going up or down? What time am I going up? You want me to stand on the edge? What? Done. Did the back break? No. That's the way you get the job done. <laughs> All right, I'm the big mom. I'm like, the storm coming in. I was going to say, crush against the storm. Help. Faster, faster! You can skip the gym. Come on, baby, keep going. Good job, John. This is the way we wash the boat. Wash the boat. Huh? Yeah, I'm pushing. Can I go of it now? I think it's... That's better. He's yeah. floating now. Just get off. Get off. Get off. Here, take this. I'm videoing. Can't you lower it more? So it'll even out? So even though it sank, I got to change the complete color of the boat. As I showed you, we wrapped it in carbon fiber blue. Looks pretty awesome. And you know what, with these wraps, it protects my boat from the sun. It protects my boat from the elements. And then if it gets scratched up or something, we just rip it off and replace it. It's really less expensive than having the boat detailed every year. So I'm pretty pumped up about it. All right, we are back in action. We got the boat all ready. We got us a new 200 Yamaha outboard on, 25 inch shaft model. We got us a new Talon on the boat. We got us the Altera 112 pound thrust, push the button, control the motor drops in the water with the iPilot anchoring spot lock feature. We got us a new Hummingbird Onyx. We've got Sea Deck and all new brown interior. So it's actually better than it was before it sunk. You know, tough situation, the boat goes down. You guys see it was a little stressful. We made it through it. We're ready for this year's fishing show season. And hopefully no more calamities. Thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to check out the uh, Salt Life channel. And thanks for watching. Chew on this. Godspeed and we'll see you guys next episode.